Adding global colors to your website couldn't be easier with Elementor. Go over to site settings on any page or any template. We're currently on the example homepage that we've started and we're gonna click site settings. And then we're gonna to go to global colors. By default, you will already have some colors assigned for you. The beauty about this is that when you set a color, and you've gone and assigned it to say uh, the background of your container or some text or even an icon. Whenever you change this color here, it will change it throughout your website. So maybe you've decided to have blue and then you decide later on you or your client wants to go for a pink color like magenta. You can change it and it will now apply it throughout your website. What we're going to do is assign our colors and a few more based on our styling guide that I created earlier myself. And you can see here we have hex codes. I recommend using hex codes as it makes it easier to add to your global colors and it's less messing around with other color coordinated values. So let's start applying this to our website. So let's click on the pink color here, which is the primary color. This is the traditional color that will be used for a lot of text. And you can, if you want, change the shade over here. You can also pick a different range of colors. You can even change the transparency as well. So it could be a green color, but it's not full on blocky. So there's a bit of transparency. I'm going to go and drop in a hex code from my style sheet. And this is the color I'm going to use for the dark background. But I'm actually going to set it as my primary color as well. Then I'm going to go and set my secondary color and we'll add this one in here for my text color. I have a darkish brown color because it fits with the theme of what I'm trying to create. And for my accent, which is traditionally used for buttons or where I want to highlight something, I'm going to go for a lighter orange. But our style sheet had a lot more than just four colors. So I'm going to click add color and I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it white and I'm going to pick the white color. I'm going to add another color black and I'm now going to scroll down and just ensure that is full on black. I'm then going to click another one. I'm going to call it icon underscore color. I'm going to drop this shade in. I've got one for divider lines. Now you don't have to associate them with actual elements. So if you just want to call it light gray, light brown, neon pink, you can do. But I'm picking particular terms here. So it helps me when it comes to organizing and building out my website. And the last one I'm going to add is a soft gray color like that. So there's my color palette. And even though I didn't have white and black on my style sheet, it kind of goes with good practice. You will have that. And then I can click save changes. Now at any time I can come back into here by going to the site settings and I can add another color or I could even go over to my secondary. Let's just copy that so I don't forget it. I could completely change it. And if I have used this anywhere on my website and we will be using global colors and we are going to take it a step further with CSS coding as well. Don't be worried about that. It's really simple and easy to use. It will apply this color throughout the website wherever I've used it. So let's just pop it back to the orange shade and click save changes. 